In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase, back in the saddle. You might have noticed that I haven't done an English lesson since Friday. I took a little break, but today I'm back in the saddle. When you say that you are back in the saddle, it means that you've started doing something again that you took a little break from. So I'm back in the saddle. I'm not literally on a horse. A saddle is something that you put on a horse. If you were a cowboy, you would put a saddle on a horse and you would sit in the saddle when you ride the horse. But we use this phrase just to talk about things that we have started doing again after taking a break. So you'll notice there was no video on Monday, but today I'm back in the saddle and there is a new English lesson for you. The other phrase I wanted to teach you today is the phrase to be saddled with. When you are saddled with something or saddled with someone, it means you have to do a job or you have to do something with that person or with that thing, even though it might not be enjoyable. Sometimes at work you have a project that you need to do and you might be saddled with a coworker. That means your boss might say, you need to do the job with Jimmy. <laughs> and maybe you don't like working with Jimmy. So you would then say, I was saddled with Jimmy. When you are saddled with someone, it means that you have to work with them. You have to do something with them, even though it might not be ideal. So to review, when you are back in the saddle, it means you are back at something again. So today I am back in the saddle. I'm outside on this beautiful December day making an English lesson for you. I am definitely back in the saddle. And when you are saddled with, when you are saddled with someone or something, it means that you have to do something with someone and it might not be ideal. Hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. This comment is from Athanasios. And Athanasios says, thank you, teacher Bob. Great phrases. Now I think it's a good time to get over this bad 2020 and keep going. Out with the old, in with the new. Let's be optimistic about the upcoming year. Don't forget, even if it's not true many times, the best is yet to come. Well, thanks, Athanasios. That's a very positive and great comment. My reply was, I think this is a great attitude for 2021. It's time to put this year behind us and to be positive about 2021. So I know you're watching this on Wednesday, December 30th. I know we still have a day and a half or so left in 2020, but I think it's a good time, as Athanasio says, it's a good time to put this year behind us and to start, think, start to think positive thoughts about 2021. I hope whatever you're doing on Thursday evening, I hope you have a great New Year's Eve and I hope you have an amazing start to the year 2021. It's definitely a good time to put some things behind us. When you put something behind you, it means that you kind of forget about it or you just stop thinking about it a little bit. And there's parts of 2020 that I do want to put behind me. There's parts of 2020 that were amazing, but there are definitely parts of 2020 that I would like to put behind me. So you might be wondering why I say 2020 and why I say 2021. We actually, when we talk about the year, we say it both ways. I could say that this is the year 2020. I could also say it's the year 2020. Next year is going to be the year 2021. I could also equally say it's going to be the year 2021. I think most people will probably refer to it as 2021. So this coming Friday will be January 1st. It will be the first day of 2021. Um, actually, you'll be watching a video on that day. I'll have another one out on this channel by Friday. Maybe I'll do Happy New Year or something like that. We'll see. Anyways, thank you so much again for watching. I'm glad that you uh, stuck with me during my little break. I had a great time. In fact, for Christmas, I got some new boots. I know it's maybe a little bit hard to see. Uh, I just thought that was a great thing to get for Christmas. I was so happy. Now I can go outside and make videos and my feet won't get cold.